Good morning. So today is Sunday, April 11th. I woke up this morning, happy to admit, at 153.8. That is huge for me. I don't even know what happened. I feel like I was in a bit of a plateau. I was stuck at 156 for so long, like three to four weeks, something like that. So we're at 153.8 now, which I'm not putting too much weight on that, <laughs> but I'm very proud and glad. Just means we're headed the right direction, you know. Um, I can see it's showing in more so how my clothes fit me. And I actually thrifted and marshaled, which is thrifting-ish to me, <laughs> some clothes that are a size 8. So that's a new size entirely for me. All my clothes have been fitting not properly, so I'm going to do a little try on haul for you guys and read a journal entry while I do so. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this is an actual journal entry that I wrote. I was feeling a need for a reflection, so I'm just going to read you guys what my mind put on paper. Lately, I've been feeling very good in my body. I feel strong. I feel bright. Somehow, I even feel taller. I've been putting in the work each and every day to feel this way. If you've been following along on my channel, you know I've been on a weight loss adventure of sorts. I've been seriously monitoring my calorie intake since January. I've limited added sugar, I drink a gallon of water a day, and I'm starting week 9 of the Epic 2 program by Caroline Gravan, which has been the main contributor to me feeling stronger. So, the scale. The scale has transitioned from something I avoided, something I didn't believe in, to now a daily to tool I use for reference. It contributes nothing towards my efforts or my emotional stamina, whether it increases or decreases. This week I broke through a plateau, and I'm now sitting at a new low number. This is still something that I'm proud of. This is the high school weight, the goal weight which I journaled about, that I would be rewarded with a bikini and a beach vacation. You know, the one that you're like, this is it. This will be everything. Now that I'm here though, I have new goals. I woke up at 154.4, a half pound past my goal weight, and I know I still have a lot of work to do. I'm not sad, frustrated, or upset that I'm not done yet. Truthfully, this experience has been so enjoyable that I don't really want it to be over yet. I enjoy being conscious of what I put into my body. I enjoy fueling myself with good, healthy foods. I now love exercising and feeling what my body is capable of achieving. I'm finally getting used to my reflection and seeing my body change. I'm actually even starting to notice it myself. So I bought new clothes, something I've always been weird about. In the past, if I ever lost weight, I felt uncomfortable in my clothes because they fit differently, loosely. I think subconsciously I sabotaged myself to go back to that feeling of no change and control, except it wasn't control, because I would just gain more weight and pretty soon those same clothes would be too tight, so I'd buy a bigger size. Why didn't I embrace the looseness of the clothes right away and buy a smaller size? Why was I okay with buying larger sizes but not smaller sizes? I thrifted these items for less than $20, so it isn't a huge expense to get better fitting clothes. I think I was afraid of change and being vulnerable. Vulnerable to others noticing the weight loss and commenting. Would that mean they noticed how poorly I looked before? Accepting that I was unhealthy and the number on the scale had nothing to do with my validity helped me mentally distinguish weight loss from being a chore to a side effect of healthier habits. This coupled with dropping any insecurities of what others probably weren't even thinking of me in the first place was a recipe for success. So here I am, rocking a size 8 and a medium, which feels like a much bigger milestone than hitting that high school weight. This experience for me is about finally achieving the thing that I've always felt would complete me. Getting back control of my body, fixing my broken relationship with food, finally wearing clothes that fit me. I realize now the skill could break tomorrow and nothing would change. I would keep making healthier choices every day because those choices gave me life in a whole new way. I feel proud and I feel damn accomplished. I feel really happy knowing I get to keep working on myself. And even though I kind of get nervous thinking of myself at a lower weight and a lower size, I know it's what I really want, so I'm going to have it. I'm still buying a bikini and I'm still going to the beach though because I did earn it and I owe it to the girl who journaled for years rewarding herself with non-food victories every five pounds from 200 pounds. I want to emphasize that achieving this milestone literally convinced me that I'm capable of anything I put my mind to. We all are. You are. You are capable of achieving your wildest dreams. Anything you put your mind to that you can feel in your heart of hearts that you want more than anything you can obtain. 
So that's been on my mind lately. Thank you guys for letting me share and thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time.